Scene one, school, a flashback. Kids are sitting in chairs, listening to teacher. Alex and Oliver are among them. Can I go to the bathroom? Yes, Alex, but be sure to come back as soon as you can. This is an important subject. Okay, I just see on the board to find X, you need to. We are in a hard lockdown, everyone. This is not a drill. Lock your doors and hide. All right. Everyone to the edge of the classroom. Don't go near any windows or doors. Kids panic and run and hide in the classroom. What about Alex? Alex will have to go to another room. Hopefully she will make it. I can't just leave her. She's my best friend. One student is screaming and running around teacher. Stop! Okay. Hot town, everyone. Oliver runs out of the classroom into the hallway. Oliver, step back here! Quiet! I hope Oliver gets to a different classroom. And I must lock the door. Scene two. Alex's room. Hey. It's Alex. It's been a week since that. You're probably wondering about what happened, about the thing no one talks about. Death, shootings. No one ever talks to kids about survivor's grief, about how it feels to have your best friend die. I don't know how to handle this stuff all on my own. So you see, the school shooter caused everyone to panic. Oliver panicked. He, he, he ran out into the hall. I don't know why. Even though I was in the bathroom at this time and didn't see anything, I still see it so clearly in my mind every day. Once the shooter had left, they took a life with them. My best friend's life. I blame myself for Oliver's death, for not being in the classroom at the time. I could have done something, anything. All my classmates hate me. I, at least I think I never would take Oliver's life. He was my best friend. It should have been me. Scene three, a nightmare. Alex, help me. Oliver, I, I... Help me. Oh, oh, no. Oliver runs to exit, but falls as a gunshot plays and someone carries him away. Alex wakes up, breathing hard. The same nightmare every night. Alex turns around to see Oliver behind her. Oliver? You're alive? But how? Well, not really. You, you see, I'm, I'm kind of stuck in limbo. How are you so calm about this? Also, what's limbo? Limbo is like another dimension. But it's also a place for people who still have more to live for. It's like I'm stuck between life and death. I just wish you were here. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> I'm sorry, Oliver. It's my fault you died. I'm never going back to school. I just can't. It's not the same without you, and everyone blames me for your death. No one blames you. If anything, they feel sorry for you. So, so please leave your room. But just remember, I'll always be here. 
You shouldn't lock yourself up, Alex, and not enjoy your life because of me. If not for your own good, then do it for me. I can't, Oliver. You must understand, we were misfits. No one knew who we were, and no one ever talks about these things. I have no one to talk to or relate to. I, I, I feel too bad to leave, too bad to move. Like, like, like a ton of weight is in my stomach, dragging me down. My stomach hurts every day. I can't sleep at night without thinking about it. I, I understand. I may seem fine with being undead, but, I, but I'm not. It's the same feeling for me. But we can't change that. What's done is done. We must live with what we've got. But, but you do have someone to talk to. Me. I don't think I'll ever be fine. But if it makes Oliver happy, if that even was Oliver, I guess I might try. Scene four, school. Okay, 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 okay. I can do this. Alex, you're back. You're excused from your grades while you're dealing with grades. You may also feel a guidance controller if you like. I don't want to talk about it. All right. But that is a big thing. You should really talk to someone. I hope I'm not the center of attention. It's been a few days and... These kids are all about gossip. They'll talk about one thing for a day, and the next, it's like it never happened. They'll find another thing to talk about like that. When something gets boring, they'll find something else to talk about like that. Especially when it's about me. I'm like the least popular person ever. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to talk about this. It's too depressing for anyone to think about. Hey, Alex. Oliver? You're still here? Of course. I told you I'd always be here. Which... Which here, though? Like, the light? I don't even know if you're actually a ghost or just in my mind. Both. <laughs> Plus one, two. In your heart. This is too much to handle sometimes, Oliver. I'm getting boba. <laughs> I know you still blame yourself for my death. But but it's not your fault. It was my own decision to leave the room. I wanted to be with you. I, I thought you might die, and I wanted to be there with you. The shooter found me. It's okay. Because I'll never have to live without you. And neither do you. So many things you say are true, but also false. It was my fault you died. You went out to find me. True, but I wanted to. I don't think I'll ever forgive myself. Only time can solve that now. Uh, I think I'm done here no no I, I i can't live without you i can't be alone again with no one to talk to i'll never truly be gone remember in your mind your soul and, and your heart scene five Ten years later. Hey, it's me, Alex, again. I may look different, but I am 23 now. It was long ago when Oliver died, but it still seems like it was yesterday. 
I think of him every day. I write all my memories of him in a notebook. I turned our story into a book. Most people think it's fiction, but it's real. At least to me. I miss him so much. But I've coped. With therapy and new friends, I've lived with it. But I will never forget Oliver. I have PTSD, yes, but it's getting better. But I want to talk about my life. My personality isn't just losing my best friend. I've done so much more. In college, I'm studying paranormal activity. I'm hoping to get a PhD. I have a girlfriend now, and she's the best. She's kind and always supports me. I love her. You may be wondering why I'm studying this topic. Well, I got really interested in how Oliver and other ghosts really come to you. I want to know if it was true. So I decided to do some ghost hunting. I've been going to haunted houses, taking samples. I've even found some good technology to find ghosts. I really like how my life has been going, even after everything that happened. I will always remember him. That's it for me. Love, Alex. Hey, it's me, Oliver. Of course. Uh, it's been a while since Alex saw me, but I've been watching. I promise to. I have watched her grow and live a lovely life. I'm so proud of her. She's she's living the life I always wanted her to, and me to have. She's so smart. In a couple of minutes, I'm leaving Limbo. I helped Alex and I finished the mission. I've been okay in Limbo. And I can't wait to finally go to heaven. The sad thing is, as Alex will never, ever truly know that I loved her. I know you loved me, Oliver. <laughs> you always were obvious. <laughs> I love you too, Oliver. The One and a Half Lives of Oliver Peters, with Haley Ann Hart as Alex, Darcy Ramirez as Oliver, Jen Lee as Teacher, written by Annabeth Glick for the Playwrights for Change 2023.